After a battle with cancer in 2016, myself, Jason, Lorraine, our daughter, Little Miss P, we sold all of our stuff and left Los Angeles to start a small one and a half acre homestead. With no farming background, we wanted to figure out how to grow our own food and live as healthy as possible and to just live a happy life as a family. All right, it's planting day today. It's starting our seeds day today. We thought we were a little bit late on it of the season with everything else going on, uh, but it's still not too late to start the early spring planting. Also, we're gonna share with you what we're planting right now. We're in zone 7B, and um, we usually plant based off a, a planter that we got from our local extension office, and that's just what we've always used uh, in the past five years we've been here. Some of our favorites that we like to grow, cilantro, kale, this is the first. Kohlrabi, we had some at Casey and Tori's farm. So there's nothing wrong with dirt. <laughs> so you just eat it? Yeah. Like that crunch? Okay. It tastes like a radish, but not as um, spicy, almost. Yeah, that's good. It's very neat though. Bok choy, Swiss chard, celery. We try to grow celery every year. It never happens. And it never does well for us, but we're trying it again. Um, lettuce. Because we have a greenhouse, I'm starting things that probably you wouldn't start out, you wouldn't direct seed out here. So um, I'm gonna try to start some beans. I mean, that's what our extension office template says to, to start um, if you have like an, a setup for indoors. And then that's it, just everything you see here. I have a few things over here, like more cauliflower, basil, and some Brussels sprouts. Let me show you what we got going on. This is what we already um, started seeds on. We have some spinach and, and some cabbage growing in here. This is some yarrow plants that we're giving away. That's our broccoli plant, our volunteer broccoli plant. And if we did not have some kind of greenhouse, our scrappy greenhouse, it's been very good to us. <laughs> uh, we would not be starting seeds right now. We usually direct seed most things on Mother's Day, and that's just worked really well for us because it has been known to snow now, and it has been in, in the past. Uh, get that late snow, and that just kind of ruins your whole garden pretty much. Um, so to be safe for us, we plant most things on Mother's Day, but that greenhouse helps us plant a little bit earlier. I think we've decided what we're gonna plant in these rows right here. We got, because we have a late start on growing this year, we wanted to plant potatoes, but it's a little bit too late for us for that. So instead, in this good soil of chicken poop, pig poop, compost, we are gonna do um, carrots and onions in here because I'm thinking the carrots and onions, stuff like that, don't do, it's kind of hard to plant into this fabric with those um, because you know, you gotta, because you're planting a bunch of them and you're not direct seeding any of them. Those rows over there will be good for that. Also, I need some help. Currently, I'm looking for these blue barrels right here, preferably the big ones. 55 gallon barrels, 50 gallon or 55 gallons. I've done a few videos uh, on these in the past of how I cut the top off, how I made this water tower, but I'm having trouble finding them locally here. I've been looking, I've been scaring the Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, I even drove into town <laughs> calling up places and I cannot find these anywhere. I don't know if it's not the season or what. So if you guys are local to the Asheville area, any one of you guys, drop me an email. I'm gonna put my email down in the show notes. Email me saying if you have a couple maybe one maybe two because i want to do another project with them and i'm just having trouble finding them right now if you have one or two laying around your property or something that you're not using shoot me an email saying you got them i'll come pick them up or i can meet you in town oh 
All right, with that we finished before the rain starts, but it's raining again. I'm gonna go inside, I'm trying to beat that rain. Didn't get quite make it. All right, it stopped. That's the beauty of living in these mountains because throughout spring and summer, it rains just enough to water your garden at least every day. One of the number one questions that we always get as far as um, gardening that, you know, we've been doing this for five years, well, over five years, if you count a uh, couple years we were out in California. But the main question that we get is how do you start growing food? Like people really want to know like specifics, like how do you, how do I start if I've never done it? And so our number one answer to that is go to a hardware store or a nursery or somewhere where they have plant starts and go buy plant starts and buy plant starts are food that you like eating like tomatoes maybe cucumbers kale just foods that you enjoy eating plant those i would suggest do not start from seeds like we're doing right here if this is your first time because i feel you want your first time to be successful you don't want do not want to be discouraged if things don't grow you will have a better success rate if you buy plant starts already grown and you put those in the ground rather than starting these seeds because these seeds may or may not grow and if it's your first time buy the plant starts because you will be more likely to be successful at growing food and it's really about just buying some plastic trays there's so many trays that you could buy these trays these trays these type of trays they have these grow bags now some potting soil but if you're doing just plant starts it's really just buying the plant start and putting it in the ground one thing you do have to remember is always plant after your last frost date so if you don't know when your last frost date is you can just type in on google you're the name of your city and when is the last frost date and so that way if you are planting seeds um, and you want to direct sow into the ground, just find out when your last frost date is. So that way you're not covering your seeds with snow. <laughs> also, I would say um, another common question that we get is how much food do we plant? How many seeds do we plant? How much plant starts do I buy? Um, and I would say plant more than what you think. Plant more than you need for sure because things die. You know, you could give some away, uh, maybe even sell some. Uh, or you can barter. It's like all this kale, all this kale, Swiss chard. You know, we're a small family of three. <laughs> we are not going to eat all this kale, Swiss chard, and everything, all these leafy greens. But what we have been doing is giving some away and bartering some with other people. Maybe they have certain lettuces that we want or any kind of other vegetable that they grew. Um, and we could barter with them. I'll trade you this kale for that. Uh, and that has worked well for us in the past, so that's why I say plant more than what you need. Is it ready to go? Yeah. The setup this year has worked out really nice because um, before we had the tables all along the edges, and then we were we weren't really growing anything in the middle. We just had tables in here. So last year we decided to clean out these areas along the edges, turn them into garden beds, and then have the table in the middle, and that way we can just do seeds in the middle and then grow food on the sides, and that worked out really nice. I'm gonna check on these mushrooms. Look at these mushrooms, you guys. Shiitakes. I grew these over a year and a half ago, or I inoculated these logs a year and a half ago. Yeah, so every time after a good rain, there's usually some kind of mushrooms growing even if it's they're little and these logs should be able to continue to produce i think i believe it's up to five years wow look at that <laughs> it always amazes me to collect these uh, when when there is some because we've been getting some good rain lately that's why i wanted to come and check these out oh we got all these <laughs> wow that's cool Usually every two weeks from here on out, all the way to probably winter, 
Um, we're starting seeds every two weeks in the greenhouse and then direct seeding out here also. I'm gonna check on these chickens. What's up chickies? Little chicken tenders. Two more weeks and we're putting these little chicken tenders in our grass in chicken tractors and we're gonna be moving them out twice a day. Also, if you want in on our online chicken processing workshops, guys, I'll leave a link down below in the show notes. Also, uh, to our private community group where I'm gonna be putting plans of this brooder on there. And they're just some awesome people, part of our private community group and who are also doing the online classes. Um, very helpful, very kind. Uh, very in inspirational. I mean, they're posting some of their projects that they've done and also sharing knowledge and Just being I guess supportive in this whole journey of this of of Trying to figure out how to grow our own food Because I really do feel like you know uh, in the past a hundred years. We've all um, Learned to forget about it like Forgetting how to be more self-sufficient how to be how to grow more of our own food and we're all trying to relearn How to do that if you want in on this action? <laughs> so if you want in on this community group and also our online chicken processing courses Plus we're gonna be putting more courses on there soon, but if you want in on that link is in description. I hope to see you guys there